CLE is part of the Inter Design School Network, which is a group of five design schools around the world. As part of the Design School Network, Inter has been uh, sponsoring an Inter Fellowship here at CIID for 12 months. And we have had the great pleasure to work with uh, Shan Shi Wei, who is experimenting with paper, focusing on alchemy, texture and sound. So this is, a, this is the dream, right? The idea that we would like to, the goal, we would like to be able to infuse the electronics into the paper. This is the part that's the prototype, the, the cheat. So all this has to go into a sheet of paper. This project is investigating the affordances which paper has and could have as a as a means of holding information, aesthetics, emotion and culture usage. We're looking in a wider context to, to develop a new kind of book that can hold information of a different kind within it, not just by printed text, but through gesture, response, sound, and a kind of poetic combination of all of those things. As designers, paper is generally something we take for granted, but through this course we learned that there's a lot of potential in, in paper. I think we were really interested in understanding not only the tactile part of paper, but exploring how it feels from the sound point of view. We built uh, contact microphones on our first or second day, and so through that experience, we immediately dived into exploring the way paper sounds, the sound of cutting or ripping or throwing paper, and exploit that. But the idea is that it comes to you in a box, right? Loosely, it comes to you in a box, and it should say on this, it's a blank box, it comes to the blank box and just see the words uh, put me in the sun and you put it in the sun and this box won't open until it's been charged enough when it's been charged enough then the words appear Q is for quicken and this, open me okay <laughs> so it breathes, it breathes in, and it comes alive. So then, you see these, you will see these finely printed pages. And the first thing starts is a thunderclap. Bang. Anybody know this word? It's, a, it's James Joyce's, the first thunderclap in James Joyce's Finnegan's Way. And it starts, it provides energy for this essay. Bang. Okay. And it breaks this crystal, which is, the dictionary definition of quicken from the Oxford English Dictionary. So, bang, the shadows is crystal, and you begin to hear. I come to an overleaf. So different, they're distinct, there are different ways of making commentary. So this is what you will come across here. Okay, like this. This is one of the few pieces where there's hand lettering. And we exploded this piece inside, uh, we built it and we exploded it into pieces so you can actually see more what's going on. But below this, below this, is this text. Okay. Like this. And it says, touch me, stroke me, press me. Okay. And I'll give it to you. <laughs> and you have to put it back in your mind's imagination. That that is sitting on top of this paper. So gesture is controlling a few different types of sound for what we are playing back. More pressure makes it more clearer. 
which is actually kind of counterintuitive, at least for where we started off with the sound design. One would expect that the higher the reading, the muddier it would get, the more, the further you'd move away from the meaning. But it seemed to make a lot of sense to have soft touch moving, giving you something more delicate, and then having to push through to reach more clarity in the meaning. In the last, at this point, you see it's already using overleaf. It's, the paper itself is becoming more and more faint, so to speak. These are the last bars of Jyoti Ligeti's second string quartet. And for 20 years, I was hoping for a chance to use those last bars. <laughs> so, thank you. So, um, uh, thank you, Intel. Right? <laughs> so, no, I think because of you, I don't know about you, but to me, you have to hear the full thing. I mean, um, but to me, it sounds like those four instruments are a bag of air, and the music itself just dissipates into air. So, and that's a really uh, apropos way of closing this, this essay because I wanted, like I said before, the reader's reading text, printed text, begins to hear sounds as commentary, and the text itself becomes not ink on paper anymore, but watermark, and becomes watermark. So what was commentary material here, then we keep the material, but the text itself becomes part of the material, it's negative material, it's watermark, which is the absence of paper. And then we lift it, and the text isn't continued by words printed on paper anymore. It's continued by music. And the music itself is transformation into air. Right? There's lots and lots of different symbolic transformations going on. And the watermark is the last thunderclap word of uh, James Joyce's Ulysses. I mean, I've been the Okay. Mm -hmm.